The candidate is more interested in what he would do if he's not elected. The All Progressives Congress, bigwigs and chieftains are rallying support for the party's presidential flag bearer and former Lagos State Governor, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Beyond congratulatory and goodwill messages, the party leaders, the party's leaders say his candidacy is a breath of fresh air. So we can go back there again. No, you know, for me, I think if you had gotten someone from the government, I don't think that would have been the very best. Of course, you know, the government has its own low point and uh, questions will be asked. But for someone coming from outside the media government, I mm. think it is good for the party. Somebody who, who will be bringing fresh ideas. And I think you, 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 you was it 15 or 11? Where Ibadu was on the ballot, despite yeah. the internal stuff. You mm. know what APC polled in the Southwest? About 1.4 million votes. You know, it's unusual, of course. Even in the South South, I think they polled also some vote there. So for him, and you should notice that each election year, where the candidates come from, you know, come from, they always turn out a lot of votes. That is, like the last election, the Northeast and the Northwest, you know, were leading, you know, in terms of volume of votes. So yeah. fresh year, both in governance and both in terms of, you know, voters turnout. Mm. I think right now you have the uh, Northwest as the um, highest in terms of uh, voters registration, about a 21 million or so. Then you, you have the Southwest following with about 17 point, you know, 4 million votes. I think these will be so fresh air to inherit the blame and the failures of the government. And two, somebody with enough political force, you know, political structure across the country to bring this to the table for the party. And I think the next election will be a very funny one in this country. Mm. Mm. But not funny. Hmm? Says yes. the next election would not be funny, but I'm, I'm adding not funny. Yes, it's it, the one it, who it understands it means by, by um, the election being funny. Mm. The election uh, could uh, spring some surprises. Yes. You know? I, I, I want to imagine that the coming of NMPP um, will really muddle the waters in, 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 in the Northwest, speaking. especially. Yeah. You know, because people are politicians. So we expect. As it happened in Bauchi and some states, so we are you're looking at Kwankwasiya and so on. Yeah, Kwankwasiya is a force. Mm. It's a massive force in northern Nigeria. You know, it, it has not been able to win an election um, for some time. You know, in terms of maybe a big election like governorship election, you know, it's, it's been struggling, but it's been building that group for some time and that group is formidable. So I expect that some of what happened in 2019 when we saw some candidates winning on the um, platform of PRP. Okay, yeah. Yes, we, we expect that in the uh, some, some states, some states That's it. you know, some states emerged even for the House of Reps, House of Assembly, they did well. So this time around, it's possible that NMPP will be able to win one or two states in the Northwest and some House of Assembly and even uh, House of Representatives uh, as well.